This is no ordinary crime scene. Behind the cordon, yellow plaques numbered from one to six are all that distinguish the remains of one life from another. Each body burnt beyond recognition. Like so many victims in the town of Butcher, their identities are not yet known. But what is clear is Ukraine's resolve for justice and its rage at Russia. How can you talk to Vladimir Putin when his forces do this? Go to hell. A sentiment also felt keenly by the body collectors of Bucha. Their van arrived already loaded. The police chief says some 1,200 war crimes have been registered so far across the whole Kyiv region. The destruction in this town stands testimony to the trauma unleashed when Russian troops invaded. Their withdrawal a few days ago means investigators can more freely gather eyewitness statements, fingerprints and video evidence. But living with such death is almost too much for the remaining residents to bear. Who do you blame for this? Только Путина. Больше никого. Он на год старше меня, но это полный полный дурак. We've not been here very long, but in this small corner of Butcher, we've already counted eight bodies. There are many more houses and gardens yet to be searched. Ukrainians say that every death is going to be investigated and cases built so that prosecutions for war crimes can be heard. Down the road, three more stolen lives, discarded in death. But further evidence for Ukraine's investigators their goal is justice, so the victims of Russia's war can finally rest in peace. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Butcher.